You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. Welcome to Expresso, episode 43. Ballistic Coffee Boy here, your host. This time, guys, I'm playing Adventure. This is a 1982 Atari 2600 game by Exidy and Comavid. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's on Wikipedia about this. It says, Venture is a fantasy-themed action game released as an arcade video game in 1981 by Exidy. Each level consists of a playable overhead map view. Upon entering one of the rooms shown on the map, the game zooms in until the room fills the screen. As a round smiley face named Winky, the goal is to collect the treasure in each of the rooms. Winky can shoot arrows at enemies which turn into slowly disintegrating corpses when hit. Corpses are deadly to the touch. Each room has a different layout, treasure, and enemies, and some rooms have special features, such as moving walls. A port was released as a launch title for the ColecoVision in 1982, followed by versions for the Atari 2600 and the television. Gameplay Winky is equipped with a bow and arrow and explores a dungeon with rooms and hallways. The hallways are patrolled by large, tentacled monsters named Hall Monsters, which cannot be killed, injured, or stopped in any way. Once in a room, Winky may kill monsters, avoid traps, and gather treasures. If he stays in any room too long, a hall monster will enter the room, chase, and kill him. In this way, the hall monsters serve the same role as Evil Otto in the arcade game Berserk. The more quickly the player finishes each level, the higher their score. The goal of each room is to only steal the room's treasure. In most rooms, it is possible, though difficult, to steal the treasure without defeating the monsters within. Some rooms have traps that are only sprung when the player picks up the treasure. For instance, in the two-headed room, the two-headed Ettons appear at the moment the player picks up the prize. Winky dies if he touches a monster or hall monster. Dead monsters decay over time and their corpses may block room exits, delaying Winky and possibly allowing the hall monster to enter. Shooting a corpse causes it to regress back to its initial death phase. The monsters themselves move in specific patterns but may deviate to chase the player and the game's AI allows them to dodge the player's shots with varying degrees of intelligence. For example, the snakes of the serpent room are relatively slow to dodge arrows. The trolls of the troll room are quite adept at evasion. The game consists of three different dungeon levels with different rooms. After clearing all the rooms in a level, the player advances to the next. After three levels, the room pattern of monsters repeat, but at a higher speed and with a different set of treasures. So uh, definitely I uh, think this is a cool game uh, for the for its time. Definitely is, is fun. Um, kind of a little platformer in a way, or shooter. Um, it is interesting. The, the cover, I think, is very kind of comical, slightly tacky in a way, or, or childish. But um, it's definitely an interesting game. I never heard of this as a kid. And if I had it, I would have played the heck out of it. It's fun. I feel that it just needs a little more of a storyline and uh, some more varying... Uh, uh, elements to these levels it does get kind of repetitive a little bit but I really appreciate this game I think it's underrated I think it's well made uh, the cover art's nice um, and yeah um, so guys I have to give this one a triple espresso um, it is definitely fun check it out and have a great holiday thank you so much for watching espresso we'll see you next time possibly for a Christmas themed game we'll see you guys bye now You are, you are watching, watching. Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.